Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk. Today we are going to talk about the Tin Hi-Fi T1 Plus. This is the $30 sibling to the $60 Tin Hi-Fi T2 Plus. How does the little sibling T1 Plus compare to the T2 Plus? Before we get into that, quick reminder, check out the links down below for information regarding where you can purchase the T1 Plus. Also for information regarding gear that was used during the review, for playlists that were used during the review that are on title. Also information about how you can contact the channel, ask questions, loan gear, and also for information regarding how you can support the channel. And then also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so the Tin Hi-Fi T1 Plus 32 ohms, 105 decibels of sensitivity, and it has a 10 millimeter beryllium driver. Comes in this little simple uh, box that get your IEMs up top and a box that has your regular silicone tips from Tin Hi-Fi, no foams included. You also get the new two pin cable and you get your IEMs. Now they do come in several different colors. You can get green like this, black, white, or pink. You also will notice that they are of a different design. They are more of a universal shaped. And uh, they're fairly small. Do have a short nozzle on them though. And I don't have any issues really with the design and the fit of them. The cable is extremely nice. The only issue that I had was that the stock tips didn't really fit my ears. So I did have to break out the RHA dual density bi-flange tip and put them on. I got a little bit better of a seal. And I think part of the seal was just because that nozzle is just a little bit short. And so it just doesn't fit in my ear quite as well. But overall, I found that comfort was very good. I found that they were extremely light and easy to just input into the ears. And they just kind of sat and didn't get in, a, in trouble in any way comfort-wise at all. Sound-wise, how do the Tin Hi-Fi T2 Plus sound? I'm sorry, T1. <laughs> I already did that review, Dave. We're talking about the T1 Plus. All right, so the Tin Hi-Fi T1 Plus, how do they sound? The They have a nice bass impact to them. It is more mid-bass uh, prominent than sub-bass prominent. And really, sub-bass isn't really there. Um, it's very minimal at most. If, you, if you're already looking for a sub-bass prominent headphone, you're going to want to look elsewhere. Mid-bass is good um, as far as impact and thump. But unfortunately, it's not the cleanest bass. It's not the most defined bass. So the details are a little bit lackluster. Uh, you're, you're, you can tell different instruments and you can tell, you know, one from a Miller. But on busier tracks, it gets muddled up, it gets confused, and it'll kind of become one note-ish. And then just overall, it's just kind of a... just that It doesn't have a whole lot of clarity. It's just kind of... Mm. almost muddy not muddy kind of a base it's it's an okay base it's a fun base but it's not a real clean and clear base mids mids are kind of the same they have a, a veil to them they're they're a little bit muddled um they have nice body to them but they just kind of lack cleanness and clarity and then as you get into the upper mids they they become a little harsh they're a little bit too forward and just a little too much accentuation and it just becomes a little harsh and grainy and it's just not the cleanest sounding mids it's okay it's just not not the most pleasing to my ears and then the treble, the treble has a nice rise to it. And then about 8K, it just drops. Uh, you, you really do lack some air to it. They, they kind of sound a little stuffy. And unfortunately, kind of hampers the extension a little bit. And sometimes the upper echelons of treble can sound a little muted and just a little too far distant. And you really don't get any uh, details out of the, the upper treble. Overall, I just find that the... The tone is fine. The timbre's a little off. And you, you just can't really... They're just kind of... They're all right. 
And you can tell that they're a $30 IEM. They sound okay, but they're not going to wow you, but they're not really going to disappoint you. They're just kind of an okay IEM. Soundstage-wise, it's it's about average. It's it's not super wide, not super intimate. It's just about where it should be. Depth and layering do lack. Uh, you can get some some points of reference as far as looking into the stage, but it's not going to be super detailed and clean. And I, I just really struggle with the T1 Plus as being a spectacular IEM at the price point. Especially when I compare it to its sibling. The T2 Plus just does everything properly. It is by far, you know, it's double the price and it just has better resolution. It has better detail retrieval, better clarity. And so on the right music, the T1 Plus sounds okay, but I, when you play it on... It, it, it just didn't play really well with my playlist. Um, I found that it played okay with more modern music. But when, when you play acoustical music, jazz, classical, things like that, music that I more listen to, uh, it, it did tend to struggle a little bit and, and was not quite as clean as, as I would like. So at $30, is it okay? Yeah, it's all right. Um, but do I recommend it? Hmm. It plays okay on most gear as it is. It's 32 ohms, 105 decibels of sensitivity. Any phone, any uh, DAP will, will push them. Uh, desktops are, are fine. Uh, it, it doesn't struggle on anything. Um, I do find that it plays a little bit better on a cleaner source. If it's a little bit of a warmer, thicker sounding source, it's going to sound a little too jumbled and a little too, um, a little bit too thick. So I found that things that were of a little bit of a brighter nature um, helped to loosen things up a little bit, so to speak, but it did bring that upper treble out. So if you're sensitive, or excuse me, upper mids, uh, lower treble region. So if you're sensitive in that area, be careful what sources. Um, I, I struggle to recommend a T1 Plus. I like it for being fun and, and it's all right, but it doesn't really wow me. And there's some other IEMs in this price point that I actually would rather recommend. Speaking of, at $30, you can get the Jade Audio EA1. And the Jade Audio EA1 is just more cohesive, has a smoother upper mids to treble uh, transition, and overall has a better defined bass. And the mids are more clean. The sound stage is a little wider and a little deeper. I just find that the Jade Audio EA1 is the better option at $30. If you want to step up and add $10, you can get by far my favorite IEM in this price point, and that's the Moondrop SSR. You're going to have forward mids, uh, very clean vocals, uh, very good detail retrieval and detail resolution, uh, a better sound stage, depth and layering. Um, overall, the SSR is better. So if you can tack $10 onto your budget, just get the SSR instead of the T1 Plus. Comparing to the T2 Plus, the T2 Plus does have a little bit of a brighter um, signature. The treble can get a little more hot at times, uh, depending on the song and the source. But the uh, T2 Plus does better with detail retrieval and resolution. Also has a better sound stage. So the T1 Plus is adequate at its price point, but it's not going to beat anything above it. And there are things within its price point that are better. So I wanted to like the T1 Plus. I like it, but eh. It's been Dave with DBS Tech Talk. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.